You have to poach an egg in almost boiling water, not quite. However, I always start with boiling water because by the time I put the eggs in it, temperature will go down 20 degrees. I like, this is non-stick, it's even better, and enough so that the eggs doesn't touch the bottom. And I always a little bit of uh, acetic acid, distilled vinegar in it. It holds the white holding its shape. Now very often, people will do the eggs this way, breaking the eggs and putting it directly from here into the boiling water. Okay, I tend to go directly close to the water and open it this way. Same idea, make sure that your eggs are cold, very cold. And of course, egg from your own chicken is better. The albumin, that is the egg white, is much better and hold its shape. Eggs from the supermarket, sometimes you have problem. Now what happened here, the white come a little bit to the surface. So you drag it, drag it with your, uh, with a slotted spoon like this to prevent it from sticking to the bottom. And it will take, uh, it will take approximately four minutes to poach an egg. It, it depends entirely on the way you like it. I like it pretty runny inside. My wife likes it even more runny than I do. Some people like it almost like hard cooked eggs. Frankly, another way of doing eggs, I take the eggs and I put it in boiling water, like if you do a hard cooked eggs, cook it six minutes instead of 10, refresh it in the cold water, shell it, and then the inside is like a poached egg. Sometimes it's easier to do. But here you can see that the temperature now is going up. You can see that by moving it, it moved, now I know it's not going to stick anymore. I will lower the heat. I don't want it to boil. The boiling will toughen the albumin, which is basically what egg white is, albumin. When you do a hard cooked egg, and I say hard cooked egg rather than hard boiled eggs because it should be just under the boil. Otherwise, the egg white is kind of rubbery. So you'll have to wait. Occasionally you can lift it up and shake it like this, but you can see that it's basically, practically all a row there. You do that in professional kitchen, you poach two dozen of eggs, you lift them up, put them in ice cold water, it stops the cooking, you trim the egg white a little bit around so that it's neater, and then you put it in a bowl of clean water in the refrigerator. And that's it, when you have one order, you grab one of those eggs, you lower it back into hot water, minute and a half or so, not enough to start cooking it, but enough so that the heat penetrates and it's hot inside, lift it up and serve it. You don't poach an egg each time you have an order. And that's actually what I do when I have guests at my house for breakfast. Say, do your own breakfast, I will poach eggs, put them in a bowl, already like this, and I put that next to it, hot water next to it. The guests come, just eat your own eggs and uh, help yourself, make my life easier. So. Let's see here, I can touch it. Yeah, it's about good for me. It's still quite liquid inside, but I would say it's enough. That stopped the cooking, of course, and it washed a bit of the vinegar. That's it. Three eggs here. The eggs will cool off, and you can see that there is a part of the eggs. This is the top of the eggs. This is the bottom of the eggs where it goes around. You always present it this way. So when that egg is cold, you grab it, and I can see that the egg white around, so you trim the egg white a little bit. It's not really necessary, but look a little nearer. I will present it this way, this is the round one, and keep it in cold water in my refrigerator. Second egg, you can see that this is the bottom of the eggs. And top of the egg. Likewise on this one, bottom of the eggs, and the top of the eggs. Okay, now that I say, you have a guest coming, the guest will grab the eggs, put it in there, lower it in hot water, minute, minute and a half, lift it up, you want to sponge it dry a little bit, you know, put it on that so that it's not too wet and serve it either on a toast or a, or a muffin or anything else. And this is your poached egg and the inside should be about like this.